I just want to briefly go over how to use the online editor for command panels. Um, I've, I'm just starting off on this page here, so you do have to be logged in to save and load panels. So you won't be able to use the online editor within your server unless you have an account. Um, and that's just so, as you can see here, you can save your files to the account. So you can have 50 files at, at the moment. And each file, you can essentially have as many panels as you want in each file. Um, but I'll just go ahead and we can just create a new panel. And that's just going to take us to the editor and wipe it to the template. So I'll start off with the save panel window. All of these windows you can move around and minimize. Um, and if you're having trouble fitting everything on your screen, um, horizontally you can just change the, uh, the zoom on your browser and it works perfectly with that so right now we're editing the panel name is template so we can change the panel name to uh, example here that changes the name and then this is the file name so this one's a little bit different so sample file go and then dot yml's at the end um, and you can add two panels so add panel example one and this will have two separate panels in the same file and we'll have a look at the file once we're done um, editing just so you can see what it looks like in the example one panel it does load a few default settings in here so I'll start off, you can just click on a slot, any slot really, and I'll put in a log. So now you can see the item settings populates with all of the settings that the log has. So we can name that, give it a color, craft log, and then the lower, so these, these ones here, are a list, everything that has this shape. You can have multiple lines on them, whereas these ones are just a single line. So you could go ahead and be, this is a craft lock. And then commands, so it's one command every line. So it can be a message. This is a message. And then CPC, is just the command that you use to close the panel. So you'll be able to find everything on the wiki page. If we go to general tags, you can see CPC. Using this is yeah, essentially just closes the panel. Um, all right, back to the log. If we go here, we can set it to an advanced view where you get options for everything. So you can change the stack the damage, if it's armor, you can damage it, potion. You'll find all this in the wiki. Um, it works the same as it would in a file. Um, so that's all good. We can add enchanted true, and that will enchant the item because if you look in the wiki, item settings, enchantments. So if you just make one line true, it'll make the item enchanted. That works the same in the editor. The first line, if I just go back, is true. That will enchant it. All right. That's on example one. We'll go back to example, which we still have the cobblestone here. You can actually hold the shift key and just click anywhere and you'll duplicate the item. The delete key also deletes the items. And you can use Control Z to bring back anything that you've deleted using the delete key. Um, so we can just add in some items. You can search for items, diamond. Um, you can change the amount of rows, two rows. So this diamond, we'll just have it open example one. And then that will open up the example one panel and that's found in the wiki. Diamond button. And 
and then we have so the hotbar items um, you can use these are the same ones as the hotbar items you previously found in command panels if you've used it before you can have a hotbar item um, so an item that sits in your hotbar open the uh, GUI the, the panel so if I can put a sign there set it to slot 0 which is at the very left side of the hotbar so it goes 0 to 8 for the 9 slots open the panel and that is all we'll need set it to basic all right and custom items um, you can say you can find information on how to use custom item items in the wiki i'll just be going over how to add them into the online editor so you can just add a custom item you'll have to just give it a name so um, custom item one so you've added a custom item and then all of the options for what your custom item will look like is just below in the advanced layout. So that's everything there. I can just go ahead, I'll just remove that. So animations, go over that next. So for animations, we will just add a few frames. So the frame starts at zero as it does if you used the uh, YAML configurations manually, zero, 01. So that's four frames. And you can find this in the wiki on how to do it. Um, animation frames, we've got four frames. We'll just set that manually in there. So now if you hit play, actually we will have to add items. So I'll make it red wool, uh, orange wool yellow and blue or green if you click on play you can see it cycles through the wool on the frames and if i set this to one that's every tick it'll refresh so you can see now it goes really quick this is going to be all the panel settings so this is the permission you need to open the panel is going to be command panel dot panel dot and then whatever this is here so if i set it to default anyone can open it now gone over rows title this is the panel title this is the item that will show up in empty slots right now it's just set to air so nothing will show up now, these you can all find in the wiki as well. So you've got commands to open. This is the command you need to open the panel. So if I put in here, open the panel. If I type in slash open the panel, this panel will open. Commands on open. These are the commands that will execute when the panel is open. You have opened the panel message and message. You have closed the panel. Panel type, um, you'll want to find these yeah, in the wiki. They are very specific. So for example, if I put static in here, you won't actually see the panel refresh. It'll make yeah, the panel, as it says, static and it will not change. You've got the rest of options. Um, and then we'll go over logic. This is the last one. So this is the, the has sections. So I'll just head over to the wiki for this and as sections here we go these are the ones that let you change the items if a certain condition is met so in this case I'll copy what it says here so logic sections I'll click on this beacon add section down section zero so add condition if rocky hawk is equal to name so if my name is rocky hawk then the item will be beef so now i've got that section now if i click on default and i press add section down it'll add another section here so it'll check this condition first 
And if it's not true, it'll check this condition here, section one. Um, if I have another one down here, if I click on default, it'll check. So it starts at zero and then it makes its way down to the higher numbers. I'll remove this section. section. Um, if I add a section down from here, all of a sudden it will check this first section. So it'll see that my name is indeed Rocky Hawk. And then it'll start checking these sections first. So if I remove that, so I'll make another one. So this one's true. So it then goes to the next one in the indentation. It'll check this one and this one. And if they're both not true, it'll just go back and use this section. So it essentially makes its way to the right um, as far as it can until something is not true. Just remove these. We'll stick it to this simple one and you can see that will appear as a beef when we load into the game. Um, that is going to be pretty much all the basics um, we, we will do here. So we just click save panel, give it a minute to save. And now it gives you this command. I just go in game, paste the command in, finish downloading panel. And as you can see straight away, we've gotten our open the panel um, hotbar item. So we click on that. The panel opens. You have opened the panel. And here we are getting this animation. And it, I've set it to be really quick. So that's um, super quick there. That's as quick as it will go. And then you've got the raw beef because my name is indeed Rocky Hawk in the game. And then the diamond button, I've clicked on that and it goes to that example one here. And I've made this wood enchanted. So the wood is sitting there enchanted. I clicked it, this is a message and it's done that perfectly. Now, uh, yep, so if I just go ahead, I will go back and remove this animation. Um, I can just disable the animation by removing this here, because if it doesn't see any animation frames on the top in the panel settings, it will just assume none of the items have animations and it just will not run. So there you go. I do hope this video was useful going over all of the basics. Um, if you do need any help further, we've got a Discord server that you can ask anything. Um, and the wiki page will have everything you need as well. So um, the wiki page is sorted in a way to make it easy to use the editor. So you'll find the panel settings window on the editor pretty much everything you need will be in the panel settings right here. Um, and as for command tags, this is th all of these will be directed to having custom commands. So the open, um, I, I use this one in the video to open a different panel. You've got a whole lot of options you can use. Thank you guys for watching.